So I bought this on eBay. It's Project X for the Amiga. It's for one mega Amiga. I assume that means it works on all of them. It's by uh, Team17, who are still going today. They're still going strong. Um, and I thought what was interesting about this um, is it's actually, it says on the back, new revised edition. This version contains various game changes and tweaks. Three discs of pure action. So I think this is before the days when we used to call things updates or patches. And I'm not sure, but this might be the first ever example of a game that was actually patched, maybe on the Amiga. It's probably not the first ever game that was patched after release, but it could be the first ever game that was patched after release on the Amiga that wasn't done for a release, say for budget or something like that. This version came out in, if I look at the discs here, this version has got 1993 written on the discs and I looked up a picture of this on the net and the disc show and the release date shows it was actually released in 92. So this version's actually come out and they've actually updated it and tweaked it, which is pretty amazing. So this could be a really early example of a game that was actually patched after release just to fix the game and fix bugs because that just wasn't actually a thing back in the day. And I actually looked it up and it, According to the internet, the first ever actual patched game from a download was Unreal Championship, which came out in 2002, and that was patched on the Xbox, I think. So um, this is actually quite an early example of a game that was actually patched. I, I didn't know games were even patched at all on the Amiga. Because um, I've seen games like Toki, and Toki's come out, and uh, it came out before the Amiga 1200, it doesn't work on it, and it would have only required a few tweaks just to get it to work on there. But even when it got re-released on a budget title, it's just the same game and doesn't work on the 1200. So they could have got loads of extra A1200 sales on that same thing, but they, they didn't. Instead, they just left it the way it was. So lots of games just didn't get patched, even though a really minor update could have fixed some bugs on the newer computers. And I did find a post that said somebody reckons that they had Mighty Magic 2 for the PC in 1998 and they had to write off and mail away and get a five and a quarter inch floppy with a patch for the game, and that was on the PC. So it's possible this isn't the first ever patched game, but this is a really early example of a game that actually got patched. Yeah, this version contains various game changes and tweaks. So the word patch was just not in people's vocabulary or update, it just wasn't there. It has changes and tweaks. Excellent. So I don't even know if this works yet, I'm just gonna boot up the Amiga now, we're gonna put it in. I assume it works on the 1200, it just says one mega Amiga. If it came out in 92 and was patched in 93, I can only assume that it works on all the Amigas because this Amiga came out in 93 as well. So yeah, you just need a one mega Amiga and it's gonna work apparently. So let's give this a go. Right, here we go. See if it boots. There's no guarantee this disc will work. Uh, nothing? Oh! No, oh, maybe. Blimey, it took a while there. Uh. Doesn't sound like it's reading properly. It sounds like it's stuck trying to read the same stuff. You never know. That sounds broken to me. Let's have a look at the disc surface. Oh yeah, this disc is gone. I can see I can see marks all over the disc. So unfortunately, it's a goner. Yeah, that disc's a goner, I'm afraid. <clears throat> That's a shame. Disc one is a goner. This two is not looking much better. It's got mold on it. And this three, this three looks all right. <laughs> Probably was never used. That's a shame. So these discs are failures for this patched version of the game. So that's a shame. So I wonder if we can actually get a version of that we can download and have a go at. So it actually says on this trivia page on Moby Games, in 1993, Team 17 released a budget edition of the Amiga version called Project X Special Edition 93. As with Alien Breed Special Edition 92 and Assassin's Special Edition, it contained a number of small changes to the game. Some of the more difficult sections were removed and the control response improved slightly, making the game slightly less frustrating. 
So perhaps this really was the budget release, but what they did is by the time they actually got to the budget release, they'd already done a few fixes and they decided to put those in with the budget release. This does look like a smaller box and it doesn't seem to resemble the picture of the box on the original. So in the end, this probably is just the budget release, but I've seen other budget releases on the Amiga where they, they didn't patch the game at all, even though they could have made some minor changes. They just put out the same disc and put it into the budget box and that was it. So there you go. So this was technically a patched game, but it was also the budget version as well. So there you go. So that actually, that's actually on the trivia page on Moby Games. So still a patch, I think, but also the budget version. So that's interesting. Ah, yeah, so Lemon Amiga also lists it as Project X Special Edition 93. Ah, interesting. But it doesn't say anything like that on the box. The box just appears to say Project X. It doesn't mention Special Edition. It seems to be what they're calling it, though. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna write a downloaded version of the Project X discs onto some floppy disks, because uh, those ones I've got in here have just got mold and they don't work. That's a real shame. That seems to be the case with a lot of these old discs. If they've not been stored well, then they just don't work. So uh, I've only got two spare floppy disks, so hopefully I can get enough into the game with just two of the discs. We'll see if we can get this thing going. This special edition. So yeah, I wasn't really aware that, that many games actually did this. This special edition. So if anybody knows of any other games that actually got an update. There was some, another post on the net with somebody saying that yeah, games just got patched all the time. Every time they did another release of the game, they just patched it, but they just didn't tell you. And I'm not sure if that's actually true at all, to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't think it is. I think games just didn't get patches most of the time. I think it was very, very rare. So we shall see, but I'll write a couple of the discs for this and then we'll have a go at it. But yeah, it doesn't mention special edition anywhere in here, but that's what people are calling it. New revised edition, that's what it's called. But the internet's calling this special edition. I love the way that, that apparently they've taken out some of the really hard bits. It's not like Amiga games are really hard or anything. They actually had to take out some of the really hard bits. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because I've got this Kix version of Turrican 2 here. And as far as I know, this, this doesn't have any changes at all. It doesn't seem to be. It's just the same disc just packaged and put in a, in a smaller box to make it cheaper and then just sold cheaper. That's all it really is. Okay, here we go then. With the probably cracked discs, let's just see if these are a decent enough version of this game. See what we get. Doesn't seem to be booting at all. Nope. Nope, it didn't boot that at all. Hopefully these discs haven't trashed my Amiga with the mold on. It's... No, is it doing it? No, it can't seem to boot that one. No, it's not doing it, I'm afraid. So it's been a miserable failure. I, 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 can't, I can't even play this game. So not much of a special edition there, I'm afraid. So this cracked version just isn't happening, I'm afraid. So yeah, that is a shame. I have failed to get this game to work. I'll tell you what, um, I'll see if I can get this to work on, I'll see if I can get these ADFs to work on the Amiga emulator because they're not working on this 1200 and I don't know why. That is particularly odd. So I'm gonna switch over to the emulator now and let's see if I can emulate this thing and just get, just so we can actually see the game because that's what we came for. So it looks like, so the discs, I tried them in an Amiga 500 and they don't work in Amiga 500, but um, I hear it is running on an Amiga 1200 on WinUAE or an emulated Amiga 1200. So it appears to be working on this. I, I'm not sure if I ever played this game back in the day. I don't think I did. I, I've definitely heard this music on Hippo Player at some point, but there we go. So the, the, the actual ADF works, but for some reason that disc that I'm writing just doesn't work in any Amiga. But at least I'm getting to play it, so I'll see if I can at some point get another disc and get this to work. But for now, we've had to go emulate it, even though I've got like four Amigas kicking around. Had to emulate it. 
Which is a shame because I'm actually playing this on a really tiny little screen at the moment. But there it is. So yeah, I've got no memory of playing this. Oh, okay, so my joystick's working. This is the trouble with emulation. It's like, is my joypad working? I'm using Xbox pad here. Let's start the game and see what we get. As you break out of hyperdrive. This is what passes for the intro. Get ready, play one, that's me. Oh, it's got an actual auto fire, so that's good, it's not gonna. Oh, speech! Oh. Oh, this is one of those games where you collect power ups and then you decide what you want. How... Oh, how do I actually uh, select which one I want? Oh, I'm using the second button, which is the B on the Xbox button here. Oh, laser beam. Oh, I, had, I got speed up and it instantly sped into a rock. That wasn't good. Approaching asteroid belt. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, the speech. Approaching asteroid belt. Somebody really trying to put on a voice there. I don't think we're going to get the speed up because I, I used the speed up last time and just went straight into a rock. So I have no memory of this playing this game. I don't think I played this one back in the day. Not, nothing's coming back to me anyway about playing it. Big rock! Oh, bullets! Too many bullets. That thing appeared out of nowhere. Here he is again. Whoa, he fires a lot of bullets. Maybe this is where I need to speed up. <laughs> Hardly doing any damage to him. There's nothing I can do, I'm just... Oh, he just left. He left me. So they went big on the speech on this game. Guns! Oh, I see. So guns takes away my laser. Oops, I uh, like a flew into that bullet. Select now for speed up. I don't think I want the speed up, I think I'm too fast with the speed up. Oh, big dude. I didn't kill him though. Oh, three big dudes. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't get any of the power-ups. Wait for 
It's quite good they're using the speech to actually tell you what to do. Games usually don't have any instructions on the Amiga. It's just like, just work it out for yourself. Oh, I was trying to get that power up up there, but you can't get up there, and I got killed doing it. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. Well, there we go. So that's Project X. I'm going to be playing a bit more of that. I need to get that working on the Amiga somehow because it's just not working. Maybe it's time to install WHC load, but because whatever those ADFs were, they were not working from the disc for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. So yeah, that's Project X. Possibly the first game ever to be patched on the Amiga. Maybe. Unless you can tell me about others that were definitely like patched after release and then something came out. Because really, for an Amiga game to be patched, you'd have to just get a new disc. There's no other way of doing it. Because um, unless it was hard disk installed, some games did that, like Monkey Island and stuff. But yeah, so an example, a very early example of a game that actually got patched. Um, I think that's quite incredible. So yeah, find an earlier one that we know of that was you know, officially patched and then re-released. Um, it's so commonplace now for games to have hundreds or, you know, ha hundreds of patches. So it's really cool to see that, you know, that was actually beginning to happen even in the 90s. Uh, and I'm surprised it wasn't more common actually, because a lot of these games had bugs in that just never got fixed. So it's a bit unfortunate. But there it is, Project X. A quick look at that. I'll be playing this on a live stream probably at some point. This looks like quite a decent game. And maybe I can send my discs back to Team 17 because they're still in business and they'll give me some replacements. <laughs> 